where, oh my gosh, we're kind of like getting in front of that semi. So we moved over, but ended up behind this slow bus. And now we have our turn signal on with a whole stream of cars. Oh, and there's a cop up there. So my car has space now. So that's good. Now we need to quickly move over or else we'll get back on the wrong highway. Um, and there's a car just chilling there. I'm sure he sees my turn signal and is like, what are you doing? Um, this is very awkward. <laughs> I don't know, is the Tesla gonna give up? And the uh, Tesla waits to be next to somebody to turn the turn signal on and then hit the brakes. Oh, and now the car's getting confused. Oh my gosh. So I totally botched the live intro while I was filming this Tesla challenge. So I'm just doing it in post. I was taking a route on the highway that I hadn't filmed before. I was going about 50 miles and I thought that this would be a great attempt at a Tesla challenge. If you've never seen a Tesla challenge, this is where I try to allow the car to do everything on its own, on ramp to off ramp, just like Tesla advertises. It was of course the latest software at the time. It was 2020.4.1, but since then we've updated to 2020.8.1. I personally have not noticed any differences in autopilot performance. So this should be applicable to the latest update as well. At the end of the video, I will give Autopilot a letter grade, A through F. I will also put a link in the top right, so make sure you watch till the end and then vote and tell me how you think Autopilot did because you guys usually have a different opinion than I do. Well, no spoilers, because normally I don't know what happens because I filmed this part before I have done the drive. So enjoy Tesla Challenge uh, number 18. I think this is number 18. So a really good move here getting out of the passing lane so the car knows that uh, you shouldn't sit in the passing lane if you're not passing somebody uh, so when the car in this lane is going fast enough the Tesla will move back over and get out of the way of people like that that want to pass We have a few different exchanges we need to do on the way, and this first one's a pretty tight bend, so it'll be interesting. Okay, so the Tesla puts its turn signal on, like as this guy is fast approaching, so they're probably a little confused. Um, they didn't even look at me, so that's good. They're waiting for that car to get out of the way. You can see it's red. Now that it's clear, the car will move over. I'm going to bet as we, yep, there it is, get close to this semi, the Tesla's going to move to the left just a little bit, uh, so you're not too close to the semi, and then after we pass it, my car will recenter itself in the lane. Just like that. Very gentle. Seems to work really well. I don't know if that's new hardware. The Hardware 3, the full self-driving computer, is responsible for that, or there was a software update that caused it, but I seem to notice it much more after the hardware upgrade. All right, and again, moving over, I know, probably not the big of a deal, but it's a relief to me because I can see the people behind me in the mirror. Uh, cars look a lot farther away in this camera display because of the fisheye. Uh, I could tell that person was close enough that, you know, they're kind of signaling, okay, let me, you know, pass you. Uh, so it's nice when the car gets out of the way, finally. So we moved over, but ended up behind this slow bus, and now we have our turn signal on with a whole stream of cars. Oh, and there's a cop up there. The bus is trying to get over to get away from them. So my car has space now. So that's good. The, the bus turned their turn signal off. Okay, <laughs> that was crazy. It ended up working out okay. It was unfortunate that bus couldn't move over faster. You know, they wanted to do that and into this lane for no reason. Um, the bus wanted to move over, you know, for the cop to get out of the way, but nobody let them over in time. So it all worked out okay. And moving back. <laughs> All right, let's make up your mind here. Okay, so the car's getting ready for our upcoming lane change. There it is right there um, for our interchange. So I don't have enough weight on the wheel, even though my hand is on it. So I just gave it a tiny little tug and that let it know that my hand was on the wheel, so it completed the lane change. Um, and yeah, we have about a mile. This is a really, really tight bend you can see on the map there, so we'll see how the car handles it. 
Okay, and perfectly getting on the exit off ramp, so that's good. And then this part uh, gets really tricky, like I've been saying. Uh, the bend, not so much. Now, the car does go really slow around this bend, uh, which is okay, you know, better safe than than risking anything, but, uh, you know, humans driving behind you sometimes are a little confused by that. Uh, but where it gets really complicated, oh, we got the sun here, um, is this interchange up here. So high curvature detected. It's just telling me to pay attention. It's still doing everything. Increasing its speed. You can see the, the set speed is going up here. Now we need to quickly move over or else we'll get back on the wrong highway. And perfect, the car did really well. Uh, now, if there were a ton of cars kind of in my way, it would have been a lot fishier, uh, but there weren't. Everything worked out perfectly. The car actually handled that really well. Okay, I'm just gonna change my speed again. After interchanges, it used to put it back to what you had set, but now it's putting the interchanges back to the speed limit with your offset. So I have it set to always go three above the speed limit. Um, so I really don't like that change. I wish it would keep my settings, but that's what we have here. You can see we have five lanes. Uh, normally this road is way more crowded. I think we're about to run into some traffic, uh, but we'll see. So it is indicating an upcoming lane change. You can see it wants to move over to this lane over here. Uh, but we have 2.2 miles, and when we get up there, there's a fork in the road. Uh, again, it gets a little intense. There's two directions you can go. We're going to go on the right fork, and then on that right fork, there's actually three separate exits you can take from there. So here we have adjacent lane speed. You can see my car is tracking these cars and because they're going a bit slower than me, my car doesn't want to go too fast because it's dangerous to drive too fast next to cars that are going slow, especially when you're on the right of them. Um, and if you're gonna comment about passing on the right, these guys have an exit to take to the left and people in these two lanes have a different exit. So that's why cars in this lane are going faster and passing these guys on the left because they're actually exiting. Okay, so now we're doing a lane change to the faster lane. Uh, which is kind of weird in the middle of all this exiting and stuff, but I guess it's all right. That was actually a really, really good move. Uh, like I said, this is the lane I would be in the whole time, but the Tesla went around that slow box truck and moved back over, which it really actually impresses me. Okay, so on a four lane road now, and the car wants to get over for faster lane, um, I'm gonna go back to my set speed, which I hate. Um, and there's a car just chilling there. I'm sure he sees my turn signal and is like, what are you doing? Um, this is very awkward. <laughs> I don't know, is the Tesla gonna give up? Or what is it gonna do? Okay, he's gonna speed up. Tesla is not giving up. All right, plug. <laughs> oh, no, still turn signal on. I thought it turned off. Just the car stopped being red. Um, completely, totally unnecessary. Because it was doing that for faster lane and then nobody was in front of us, so that's really strange. It should have just been able to see, oh, okay, there's no one in front of us now, let's just stay here. Okay, and you can see 1.7, 1.6 miles we have to exit and the Tesla waits to be next to somebody to turn the turn signal on and then hit the brakes. Oh my gosh, this is not the best lane change you've ever done. Um, okay, so luckily they're speeding up. Uh, that's kind of annoying that it's hitting the brakes to do that, but at least we're not in the left lane. Um, so I forgot this route actually does have a non-highway portion. It's a divided highway with uh, stoplights, so I'll probably either just cut that or fast forward through it. So 
So just an incredible amount of traffic here. And uh, the car doesn't have to do much, but neither do I. So it's actually pretty great. All right, so it looks like the car is gonna handle this exit perfectly because this is the lane you need to be in. But uh, usually there's a lot of people cutting you off and you can see moving around and passing you and stuff. Um, but the Tesla was in this lane from long ago and didn't move, didn't try to um, pass the slower cars or anything. So it did a really good job of pre-planning and knowing what lane to be in for this exit. So no problem, uh, this is where we get off the highway for just a little bit and I will continue when we get back on the highway. Okay, well, I hope you guys appreciate the magic of video editing because that was really long and really boring. I don't know how long, but if you look at the clock now versus before, you'll know. Um, so this road, we're still not back on the highway where Navigate and Autopilot will turn on with the one blue line, but this, but this road uh, turns directly into the highway. So I'm gonna try to just leave Autopilot on and have it do its own thing. Okay, and any minute, well, there it is. Any minute now, I was gonna say. Uh, navigate on autopilot should come on. So there's that. We saw a bunch of cones back there, which is always good. Uh, and the car wants to, ugh, come on. <laughs> it wants to get left, but it's gonna be annoying about it. Okay, I really don't know what it's gonna do here. It doesn't need to get left. This is all new. Um, so this ramp and everything is new as of a few months ago. So I don't know, I mean the maps obviously worked fine and are doing everything okay, but I hope they don't get confused uh, because of that. Okay, and now it puts on its turn signal again right next to somebody and the lane is ending. Wow, well good thing they were nice and let me in <laughs> because that was kind of like a last minute lane change there. Um, oh, and now the car's getting confused. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Still has problems with those wide open lanes, which is just the worst. Uh, I wish it would just use, you know, you have one lane line, you should know uh, not to center, you know, through for the big fat line, but that's okay. Um, so getting over here, that turns into an exit. So that's a good move. Um, and <laughs> we're back, back on solid ground now. Okay, and this will actually be the end of the journey. There wasn't all that much highway left for us to do, um, but in this last half mile, getting over, ooh, look at this guy. I had my turn signal on before he did that, and he just wanted to pass me. That was not a very nice move, but you know what? The Tesla, the Tesla handled it perfectly, waited for him to get out of the way, and then nicely moved over. Um, so overall, very good job of the car. Some weirdness with uh, lane changes there, that little wobbly bit at the end, and then near the beginning when we did uh, like the lane change or the passing lane and then back. So it was kind of weird, but overall, really good experience. Uh, the non-highway part was fine. I didn't even record it because it's not, uh, the car's not really capable of doing that. Um, but overall, uh, I would give this a B. You know, that was pretty good. I was really happy. I didn't have to do anything. The only thing I had to do, um, oh, it's still, is it gonna get over? Uh, this person, okay. <laughs> They were kind of going kind of fast there, and I was not, I didn't know the car was still actually in Navigate on Autopilot. Um, yeah, people are really aggressive around here for whatever reason. But uh, overall, yeah, the car did pretty good. Um, I'm sticking with a B. I'm happy with that. And um, let me know what you think, remember, or make sure to vote in the top right, The click the little I. You can vote up there. Tell me what you thought about the car. Uh, comment down below. I will talk to you in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one, and you will see me in the next video.